I've got a confession to make. I haven't got that much tech at home, which I know sounds weird given that I do this for a living, but I have identified four things that are genuinely life-changing. I've somehow carved out a living reviewing tech from this studio, and as a result, I have some very cool stuff in this space. But when I get home, I just want things to work. That's why our kettle doesn't attach to the Wi-Fi. It's why I can't open my garage door with my Apple Watch. We've even got a vacuum cleaner that you have to push around with your own arm. But I quite like that because all I want from tech at home is quality of life improvements. And I've managed to find four things in our house that do just that. One of them you definitely won't be expecting at all. The other three are fairly obvious, but they need mentioning because I think if you're not using them yourself yet, you possibly should be. So let's get into it. Did you know that temperature is one of the most important factors when it comes to sleep quality? I didn't. If you didn't know about those two things, I can guarantee you know about the arguments that can break out between couples when it comes to how hot or cold the bed should be. Stop laughing at the back. You'll have experienced this either firsthand or via tales from your couple friends where one person wants the bed unbelievably warm and the other person wants it cold enough for the Night King to be happy with. Also, if you're anything like me, you probably wake up feeling groggy more often than completely with it and ready to jump out of the bed. That's been something in my life that has always been a problem. There is happily a solution to this and it is a tech product. It's from a company called 8sleep who are very kindly sponsoring this video and who very kindly sent me their pod to check out. The 8sleep pod connects to a mattress cover which you place over your mattress as you might guess. It's literally a case of taking this thing out of the box, placing the cover over your mattress, connecting the cover to the pod and then filling up the water reservoir within the pod with water, obviously. You then download the 8sleep app and follow the instructions. It couldn't be any easier. And what 8sleep does is turn that mattress cover into a kind of soft radiator for the people sleeping in the bed. And it's a radiator that can go very cold and very warm. And it's designed to give you the best night's sleep possible and potentially save your marriage. I'm joking, they can't claim that. But the point being, as you might guess, you can have different temperatures on either side of the bed. Now, for some couples watching this video, you've probably already gone to the website and ordered your eight sleep pod straight away. I genuinely think for a lot of people, the ability to have a different temperature on each side of the bed is enough. And you can adjust that temperature between 55 degrees Fahrenheit and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's got this massive temperature range. And the reason it does this is because normal mattresses trap heat throughout the night. So there's no way of regulating the temperature of your bed. And this isn't great at all because science tells us that the body temperature needs to drop for the early to middle part of the sleep cycle and then rise again as we wake up. You can't do that with a traditional mattress. With eight sleep, you can. And the reason this is so important is because when your body temperature drops for that first stage of sleep, you fall asleep quicker. So if you're the sort of person who's always lying there thinking, why can't I get to sleep? Your body is probably too warm. So eight sleep can regulate that temperature and make sure you are cool enough to fall asleep quicker and fall into a very deep sleep. And as we know, deep sleep is what we all need. And that gradual rise in temperature as you reach your wake up call is really really important because it's that that makes sure that you're not too groggy when you first open your eyes. It's even got this vibrating alarm that vibrates near your chest to wake you up gently just as the temperature increases. It's lovely. This all sounds like an impossible dream, I know, excuse the pun, but I, I know this sounds a bit far-fetched, but there is science behind this, and I have been using 8sleep for the last month, and it's made a massive difference. It tracks all of your vital statistics as well, so your HRV, your heart rate, your sleep time, your sleep stages, and all of that stuff can be accessed in the 8sleep app. And it does all of this without you having to wear any kind of wearable. So if you're fed up with having to wear your Apple Watch to bed because you have to charge it and do all that stuff, with 8sleep, 
you just go to bed. It also gives you some very insightful notifications. So a couple of days ago, I woke up and eight sleep told me that my heart rate had dropped overnight, possibly due to stress and caffeine intake before bed, both of which were completely true. And this morning it told me that my heart rate had raised overnight, which should lead to me feeling less energized today, which again is spot on. What I love about eight sleep is that it has these immediate quality of life benefits. So there's the whole heating both sides independently. That's a, a massive thing for a lot of couples, but also all of the health metrics and stuff that it tracks are really easy to follow. And that isn't always the case when it comes to health and tech. A lot of wearables, for instance, give you lots and lots of feedback, which is really tricky to decipher. Eight sleep immediately makes sense. And no, this isn't a cheap way to fix your sleep. Eight sleep is quite expensive, but there's a reason for that. Investing in your sleep is, well, it's one of the best things you can do. And I've worked with Eight Sleep to get you a fantastic discount. So to find out more about this genuinely life-changing piece of tech, just click below. Next up, we have the Google Pixel tablet. And this is Google's answer to having an iPad at home because their research apparently suggests that people don't charge their iPads at home, which means they end up being well, empty basically, and just a bit of a faff to use. Now, whether or not you believe that is entirely up to you, but the Pixel tablet for me, well, firstly, hands up, we don't use it in tablet form very often, if at all, but just having this massive 11 inch screen on what is basically, I think, the best home assistant out there is amazing. So for instance, if you set an egg timer, which is, let's be honest, the thing that most of us do with these home assistants, you see the egg timer on the screen. The same thing with driving directions, the weather, the news, the music you're playing. It's just so much better than having this little box that talks to you. And if you've been following my home assistant journey, you'll know that for a time we had Siri in this room on the HomePod, which was just horrendous. The other thing that I love about the Google Pixel tablet is that you can set it up to show a rolling carousel of your Google Photos, which is just a lovely way to catch glimpses of past memories and stuff. This thing, although we don't use it like that, has been game changing for this kitchen. Last year, we got rid of Sky for good because it was just getting way too expensive. If you're not familiar, Sky is the UK, well, it's pretty much the only UK satellite TV thing that you can buy and spend way too much money on. So instead of that, we put the Apple TV 4K in its place. And this has been, it's been amazing. And I am someone who not so long ago suggested that Apple should cancel the Apple TV. I'm an idiot for suggesting that because this is easily one of the most impressive pieces of tech we have in this house. We use it for everything. So we've got Now TV on here, which replaces Sky. We watch all of the streaming services on here, Netflix, Disney, Amazon etc and we use it for music and what else oh and those brilliant those beautiful 4k drone screensavers well we leave the TV on just to see them which probably isn't the best idea when it comes to energy usage but the point being the Apple TV 4k is now the most important piece of home entertainment gear in this house apart from one other thing which is obviously the TV. And this is the Hisense 55U7, which I reviewed towards the end of last year. We've used it ever since. And bearing in mind, we came from a 55 inch curved Samsung. Remember those? The step up in picture quality and features is just massive. But the best thing about this TV for me is that it has Dolby Vision IQ, which basically means you don't have to faff about with the picture settings. So if you have Dolby Vision content, it just works. There's no changing the picture profile or hunting down the internet for the best picture settings. It just looks utterly stunning. And yes, I do have a 65 inch U8K mini LED TV in the studio, which I reviewed recently, which I'll link to above. But it doesn't fit in this hole here. So the 55 inch is staying here and I'm quite happy about that to be honest. This is the best TV of this size that I've ever owned. So there you go, those are my four pieces of home tech that I could not live without, kind of. But I'd love to know in your home, what is the one piece of tech that you couldn't live without? 
let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to hear my full thoughts on the Google Pixel tablet, keep watching for a link to that video.